So this is for women's eights yet again, but this is the university version, the Ireland Challenge Cup. Edinburgh University's B crew, that's the thing, because their A crew have been eliminated. They're on the far side in light blue. And the powerhouse that is the University of London women, the Purples, they are on the right of your picture. Surprised to see Edinburgh be this far, Fergus? I think having watched their maturity in their racing, they have been phenomenal. They've taken on Iowa from the United States, beaten them. They've taken on Scotland from the Netherlands and beaten them. And they're up against a really powerful crew, University of London, phenomenal outfit, coached by the likes of Tom Gale, Stu Heap as well, involved in, in the mix with the coaching there. But University of London, too strong in the early phases for Edinburgh. Yeah, that was a great catch to get Tom Gale with the women's programme at the University of London. Uh, when Smithy went there, uh, he just kind of thought, OK, I've worked with Tom Gale at Lady, Lady Anna Hollis. He coached Hollis to a national schools winning title, and of course he had the experience with Tideway Scholars. And you can see what he's done with this women's crew here. They are so synced in, aren't they? Yeah, they absolutely are. And University of London, a seeded crew, in this event, they've got a first round by and, and deservedly so it'd have been fantastic here in the United Kingdom. And as you see there, just as the camera pans round, already out to clear water advantage over Edinburgh University. London coming into this though, bronze medalists at Championship 8 at Bucks Regatta, so one of the really top crews. But by contrast, this Edinburgh crew, bronze medal and intermediate eight. So it's one down from the championship level. So we're seeing two slightly different calibre crews here. So it's no surprise, really, that, that London are stretching out to the advantages that they've got. So Charlotte, uh, sorry, that's not Charlotte. That's uh, Daisy Faithful, the bow of the University of London A. And uh, the two seats, Susanna Cassidy, daughter of Adrian and uh, Siobhan Cassidy. She rode at Texas with Dave O'Neill. And uh, she's back here studying at University of London. Anna Scott there in the seventh seat. She was from Yale. She's an American from Colorado and a guitar player, would you believe? And Jess Martin, the 21-year-old, has really done so well. She's a Prince Philip Cup winner for Headington School, Oxford. She struck the boat that year when they won the Prince Philip, and she's doing so well for University of London. Back with Edinburgh B. Focus. Yeah, and a word for this Edinburgh crew, the John Hickson coach crew. Again, three crews Edinburgh had in the Ireland Challenge Cup. They're really doing some ma magical stuff north of the border. And I think what I love is they take the whole club north, way up north between uh, Fort William and Fort Augustus up to Loch Oy, and there's clearly something in the water there because I think to get three crews into an event that's only got 20, 22 places here at, at Henley Royal is outstanding. And I mean, hats off to this B crew, as we've said, the last standing Edinburgh crew at, uh, at the 2024 regatta. Yeah, and this University of London crew, obviously, you know, they're going to come up against Oxford Brooks, who are the holders of this event. How do you rate the chances? Well, I think the... I think how everything has unfolded domestically has been has been fascinating. I think probably coming into this thing, Oxford Brooks with me, my picks for the Wargrave, but I love the scuffle that's been going on. We saw it earlier between Newcastle, Durham. What a great Newcastle. race that was. Phenomenal. My race of the regatta. And Newcastle coming out on top. UL, if all things go to plan in the final stages of this, they'll be progressing through and racing Newcastle on the Saturday, which will be an absolute barn burner. And then the winner looking to progress through and probably racing either I think it's Cambridge or Oxford Brooks they'll be racing in the final. Oh, that's a wicked set up that is. So a lot of the alumni from London University done so well to get their own boathouse set down at Hartington Road in Chiswick because that was threatened but now it's set for University of London. There's Edinburgh University B. It looks like they're a gather will be over on the Friday but the fact we're saying the Friday they can hold their heads high when they come off the water and they'll reflect on a marvellous campaign. They will, they're just coming up to the progress board though, University of London out in front enjoying these final phases, they had disruption in their preparation for Henley Women's Regatta but it wasn't a problem, they went off to Marlow, they beat 30 odd of the men's crews in the time trial of the eights so they're a really incredible crew at this unit and they're showing that here on the Ireland Challenge Cup. Edinburgh there, just going through the picture, but eyes focused on the women from University of London in the Ireland Challenge Cup heat. They take that reasonably comfortably, I'd say, against the women from Edinburgh University B. They couldn't ease off University of London, they had to pretty much go all the way, and that sets up the contest with the women from Newcastle University, who had that titanic struggle against the women of Durham University, and we'll see that unfold on Henley Saturday tomorrow.